In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how to customize your shoes for beginners in 2023. I'll be showing you three different ways. So with all that being said, let's get it. You guys, today I'm gonna be teaching you how to customize your shoes for beginners in 2023. We're gonna have a lot of fun in this video. Also, you guys, I have a huge announcement at the end of the video, but you gotta stay tuned. Where's the shoes at? I'm missing the shoes. All right, there you go. So the first thing up is the Air Force Ones. We are gonna be customizing these with Posca markers, okay? So the first thing we have to do is we have to take the shoelaces out of the shoes. Remember you guys, when you are customizing shoes, take the shoelaces out of the shoes. The second step is we're gonna be acetoning the whole shoe using Angela's Prepare and Deglazer. Let me tell you what this does. This takes the factory finish off the shoes. You guys, you do not see the factory finish on the shoes, but there is factory finish. And if you take it off, this will help with the paint actually bonding to the shoes later on when you customize them. Okay, so we done prepping. So now I got my green Posca marker here and I'm going in and I am coloring this shoe. Let me tell you about the great things about coloring your shoes with Posca markers. It is so easy, okay? This is one of the easiest ways to customize your shoes in 2023 is using Posca markers. As you can see, basically all I'm doing is just coloring the parts that I want green. And this custom is gonna look really, really good, you guys. So next I got purple. And basically what I'm doing is doing the same thing like I did with the green, but I'm doing it to another part of the shoe. I'm using this green and purple. I need y'all to guess right now what custom you think I'm doing right now with green and purple. I'll give you a hint. It is a character, okay? So it'll come together later on. So this is the thing. So when you're using Posca markers, you want to literally take your time. You want to do multiple coats too. Because as you see, as, as I am filling it in right now, it's, it's not looking like the best, but you have to go over it several more times like I'm just doing right now. And what I did was I took a heat dryer in between like the sets, like the coats. And basically what I did was I dried it. I mean, I speed up the process, all right? All right, so we got that down. So the next step is I got my red Posca marker here. As you know, this should come all the way together now. What carrots I'm doing? Okay, so basically I'm doing this like this kind of this line design on the swoosh because this is really what's gonna bring like the custom together. And basically all I'm doing, you guys, is I'm just taking my time doing this, okay? Another cool thing about Posca markers is that they are very small, so you can add little details to them. That's what I'm doing right here. And basically now I'm doing the back tab yellow, and I need all my people to guess right now, or think of it in your head, exactly what character it is. If you don't know now, then I know you're not a big fan of Disney, because if you're a big fan of Disney, you would have guessed this already correct, okay? So basically I'm just adding some more little details to it, and then we're about to wrap up this custom, because look, you guys, so, when you're doing custom shoes with Posca markers, all you have to do is have the design in your head and then from there, just gotta take your time. You really need to map out the design. Okay, so this is the finish I use when I'm doing Posca markers. It's a satin finish and you can get this at your local arts and craft store. So make sure you go check that out. And basically all I do is I do very, very light coats. I just spray over it so it locks the paint within the custom. Okay, you guys, this right here is a Buzz Lightyear custom. If you don't know already, this is pretty cool. And this is a cool custom you could do with Posca markers, okay? Next step is we're gonna be doing something a little different. I'm doing three projects in this video. I wanna show you three different ways on how to customize shoes. So we got some bands here, very different material. The Air Forces, they were leather. This is more fabric. So you gotta take a, you just gotta take a guess right now what I'm basically gonna do to fabric shoes. And this is one of a popular one that a lot of people wanted me to do again, all right? So I took the laces out, all right? Second thing is we gotta tape up this bad boy. So we taped it up. Now we got the paint. And I know some people are getting excited because I'm getting excited. I ain't done this in a while. We're gonna be hydro dipping these shoes, all right? So basically what you have to do is you have to take your spray paint. You have to just spray it within the water, all right? Make sure you're using Restylium oil spray paint, okay? That's the best to hydro dip with. I learned this like a little while ago, all right? So we got the paint in there. And basically what, what we're doing is we're just spraying in the corner. Spraying in the corners, we need them swirls because that's the best thing for hydro dipping is the swirls within the water, all right? So after we do that, basically, I'm going to start dipping the shoe. And this is the cool part, you guys. Man, this is the cool. I really miss doing this, all right? So you dip it in there. And then basically what you have to do, you have to swirl the water around, all right? So you got to get the water all around, around it. Then you have to bring it up slowly. And wow, look at that, okay? Now I'm taking the tape off. And I should have, like, taped up the middle part. But 
the tape really wasn't like working well with the fabric so i just left it but look how cool this looks this looks crazy this is what i love about hydro dipping and all you have to do is Okay, last but not least, we are customizing some Air Max 90s, all right? And this is one of my favorite techniques I've done to customize shoes. Well, the one I've really started off on my customizing journey is really basically just painting the shoe, okay? So first step is we gotta take the laces out. As you know, in all these ways of customizing shoes, I had to take the laces out. Second, second, you have to use this Angelus Acetone to take off the factory finish. I know you do not see it, but it's factory finish all over the shoes, okay? paint these shoes i'll be using some of these basic paint brushes i got from walmart okay so the first color we're gonna be using is angela's black shout out to angela's company they sent me over a bunch of paint shout out to them they're one of the best honestly they're making shoe customizing products all right all right so first things first is basically what i'm doing is i'm painting the uppers black and i'm taking my time you guys when you are painting shoes this is for all my beginners even my novice people or intermediate people make sure you take your time and i was actually supposed to tape it up but this is the thing, I've been kind of doing it for a little while, so my hands are pretty steady. But if you are a beginner, make sure you tape up the shoes, okay? Because when I started off, I messed up a lot of shoes because I simply did not tape them up, okay? All right, so as you are painting, you are gonna just take your time and do light coats. Even though it's black and it's filling in perfectly well, we wanna do light coats and we want to dry, we wanna have like sessions, like drying sessions in between the coats, all right? This is gonna be more so like a very simple custom, just, and it's gonna be really based off the Jordan 11 breads. And basically what this custom is, I'm just showing you, basically you can take a simple concept like the Jordan 11 breads or any of your favorite colorway Jordans and then put them onto another shoe, okay? So most of we're gonna be doing is black, white, and red. Let me tell you, painting shoes can get a little tedious, but I would advise you to make sure to have some music playing on in the back of, in, like in your room or wherever you paint the shoes or have your favorite show. But because the time it takes to customize, actually paint a shoe, it takes a long time. I think for about, if I'm doing a full like detail custom, I think it takes me about 10 hours, 12 hours. It all depends. It all depends on what you're putting on the shoe. And I know a lot of artists probably take a couple days or even a week to really customize a shoe, honestly, because I mean, just the process it takes to do it is insane. But you have to remember first, you have to prep and prepping is just taking, make make sure you like take the laces out, you acetone it. And then second is like mostly people design it, sketch it, like the design they wanna do. And then third, they paint and then they, you know, they add the finisher onto it. So I'm actually still painting because I'm painting most of the shoe black and we're gonna be adding some red here very, very soon. I just have to get through this part right here. We're almost done painting the whole shoe black. We gotta just keep adding a little bit more parts and we're gonna do this, hit this back tab real quick too. Okay, so now it's time to add the red. We gotta add the red here because we are trying to make like a Jordan 11 bread custom, but using Air Max 90s, okay? So this chili red is very good. And basically also what I'm doing is I'm mixing in some GAC 900. It's like a fabric medium. Just because the top part is fabric, you really just don't wanna use paint because it is gonna really mess up the texture of the fabric. That's why I use a fabric medium to mix with the paint. Even with this, you still wanna take your time, you guys. You do not want to use a lot of paint. You wanna do very, very light coats even when you're painting on fabric. Ooh. 
I can say this custom is coming together very well, you guys. So all we have to do is make sure we continue doing the same things. And basically, that's the thing. Customizing shoes is very tedious, I know, but it's okay because let me tell you, the finished look is gonna look so good. I'm trying to tell you, it, it really is like rewarding in a sense. That's why I, I think that's why I like doing it. It's like so rewarding that you start off with a blank canvas and then you customize and you keep going, you keep going, and then look what you create at the end and it looks so good. You know what I'm saying? So, you guys, when you are customizing shoes, just make sure to take your time and just think of the reward at the end of your cust or your shoes customized. Okay, so now we're about to finish up. We're about to do some more little details and add more color to the shoe because I just felt like just that red alone, we need to add a little bit more to really bring it all the way together. And um, basically what I'm doing is I'm painting this tab and I'm also painting the tongue black. We're doing both of these. And then after this, you guys, then I'm going to add a finisher. Like I said, shout out to Angelus for hooking your boy up with all the many different finishers. I mean, you got matte, satin, flat. You got all the good ones. And this is the final look right here. Okay, you guys, the big announcement. So the announcement is I am coming out with a book this year. Oh man, I'm so excited for the book. So okay, the book entails like a lot of cool customizing projects. Some projects that you see me do and then some projects that are just mind blowing, okay? So the projects are just like some of my some of my customizing projects that I've done on this channel. You guys, I am so super excited. The pre-orders are live, by the way. You can get your pre-order right now with the links below. We got Amazon, Books A Million, Barnes & Noble. Make sure you order your book. And honestly, I may just give a lot of them away in the future, but we will see about that too as well. But I just wanted to announce that I am coming out with a book and I am super, super excited. Me and my team are super excited. The book, let me tell y'all, I'm gonna give a hint. The book looks amazing. <laughs> it looks really, really good. It's like easy to follow. But you guys, I'm super excited. This would not have been possible without each and every one of you. I love you all so, so much. Hopefully you learned something new in this video and hopefully you will pre-order your book. It's coming out September 12th, 2023. Okay, so that's right around the corner. It's not that far, but it's giving me a little time, okay? With all that being said, this is your boy Xavier Kicks. I'll catch y'all in the next one. Peace.